Hi, we're Midnight Blue, a specialist security consultancy firm. In this video, we're going to demonstrate a proof of concept attack from the Tetraverse vulnerabilities recently uncovered by our team. Terrestrial Trunked Radio, or TETRA, is a radio communication standard used globally by law enforcement, emergency services, military operators, private security, and harbor and airport personnel. In addition, TETRA is used in a wide area network carrying capacity for SCADA telecontrol of oil and gas pipelines, electrical substations, water management, and even railway signaling. Tetra offers confidential communication guaranteed through its so-called air interface encryption feature. This feature encrypts Tetra traffic by means of one of four proprietary stream ciphers, TEA1, TEA2, TEA3, and TEA4. Since the Tetra encryption algorithms have been kept secret for over 20 years, their security has never been properly publicly evaluated until now. Midnight Blue researchers have reverse engineered the algorithms and uncovered several vulnerabilities in Tetra, including a decryption oracle attack, which works regardless of the TEA cipher employed. This attack works by spoofing unauthenticated frame number update messages, which function to synchronize network time. In this manner, an attacker can recover key streams corresponding to a specific moment in time. By collecting encrypted traffic of interest first, an attacker can then attack any radio with the shared keys at a later point in time to recover the key stream and decrypt the earlier collected traffic. In this demonstration, carried out on a lab setup, an attacker recovers a text message, but the attack can also be used to recover voice communication and inject data. The radio receives an encrypted message, which is also captured by the attacker. We see that the message says, secret the attacker now needs to target a radio and impersonate the infrastructure and carry out the attack to decrypt the previously captured message. We've sped up this process. The attacker has now recovered all he needs to decrypt the message. This attack applies to all Tetra configurations, but can be resolved with a firmware update. In the case of SCADA telecontrol communications being carried over Tetra-wide area networks, attackers could use this vulnerability to obtain direct access deep within the operational technology networks of critical infrastructure, allowing them to intercept and manipulate network traffic controlling equipment like switchgear, circuit breakers, and valves at electrical substations or oil and gas pipelines. Due to the highly sensitive nature of the uncovered issues, Midnight Blue has spent more than one and a half years in a carefully coordinated disclosure process with multiple government and industry stakeholders, guided by the Dutch government's National Cybersecurity Center. During this process, detailed advisories and mitigation guidelines were distributed through the NCSC in order to enable stakeholders in taking appropriate defensive mitigations. Visit MidnightBlue.nl to learn more about our specialist security consultancy firm and the team who uncovered the Tetraburst vulnerabilities first, and Tetraburst.com to learn more about the vulnerabilities discovered in Tetra.